Hi everybody, this is Cassie from the Wood County District Public Library Children's Place. I'm here today with some kind of exciting news. So last year, I agreed to do something kind of fun for the State Library of Ohio. I agreed to serve as an elector for a project that they run every other year called Choose to Read Ohio. Now with Choose to Read Ohio, they collect a bunch of books that are written for all ages, and they have to be written by Ohio authors, people who live right here in our state. And then they divide all of the people who've said they'll serve as electors into four groups. There's one for picture books, and there's one for early chapter books, one for YA teen, and one for adult. And so then they send you a list of the titles, and you have six weeks to get all of the titles read. So I had six weeks to read 13 YA teen books. Uh, which was quite an adventure, but I did get it done. And then we all voted on our top five, and so they took the most popular ones and they compiled a list of 20 books that they release. And they just released that list for the two years, uh, for 2021 and 2022. And so it was a really fun, exciting process to be part of. And I thought today, as part of this fun size story time, I would share with you uh, one of the picture books that got selected as one of the top five Choose to Read Ohio picture books. So here we go. Love by Matt De La Pena, illustrated by Lauren Long, and shared with permission of the publisher, Penguin Random House. In the beginning, there is light and two wide-eyed figures standing near the foot of your bed and the sound of their voices is love. The cab driver plays love softly on his radio while you bounce in back with the bumps of the city and everything smells new and it smells like life. Love too is the smell of crashing waves and a train whistling blindly in the distance. And each night, the sky above your trailer turns the color of love. In a crowded concrete park, you toddle toward summer sprinklers while older kids skip rope and run up the slide. And soon you are running among them and the echo of your laughter is love. The night the fire alarm blares, you're pulled from sleep and whisked into the street where a quiet old lady is pointing to the sky. Stars shine long after they've flamed out, she tells you, and the shine they shine with is love. It's not only stars that flame out, you discover. It's summers, too, and friendships and people. One day you find your family nervously huddled around the TV, but when you ask what happened, they answer with silence and shift between you and the screen. In your dream that night, you are searching for a love that seems lost. You open and close drawers, lift cushions, empty old toy bins, but there's nothing. Wake with a start in the arms of a loved one who bends to your ear and whispers, it's okay, it's okay, it's love. And in time you learn to recognize a love overlooked, a love that wakes at dawn and rides to work on the bus, a slice of burned toast that tastes like love. And it's love in each deep crease of your grandfather's face as he lowers himself onto an overturned bucket to fish. And it's love in the rustling leaves of gnarled trees lined behind the flower fields. And it's love in the made up stories your uncles tell in the backyard between wild horseshoe throws. And the man in rags outside the subway station plays love notes that lift into the sky like tiny beacons of light. And the face staring back in the bathroom mirror, this too is love. So when the time comes for you to set off on your own, 
Heavy winds will sweep past your building and great gray clouds will congregate above. Your loved ones will stand there like puddles beneath their umbrellas, holding you tight and kissing you and wishing you luck. But it won't be luck you'll leave with because you'll have love. You'll have love, love, love. I really like that picture book, especially for what we're going through right now. It's really helpful to have books that remind us that no matter how scary things might get, there's always someone around who loves us. So I think this is a great activity to do with your families in relation to this book, is sit down together and make a list of the ways that you've seen love in the world, even when things have been a little bit scary. As for everyone else, I encourage you to check out the full Chase to Read Ohio list that's out right now. As I said, there's books in four different age categories, so there's definitely something for everyone. If you're interested in the books that I read for the teen and YA category, my favorite of the five that were selected is Mosquito Land by David Arnold. I really liked this book because of the story, but also because it's set in the town where I grew up as a kid, which was pretty cool to read about. So thank you all for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful day.